not necessarily mean with your physical eye. I'm talking about your spiritual eye. Oh, my God. Because see, we get caught up and shut close my eyes when I'm praying. Lord, help me. Lord, help my eyes open. See, that's That's manly. So what should we be looking for when we pray? I would suggest today that we look for the enemy's attack. Uh, certainly in the Old Testament time, the sort of defense watchmanfulness uh, was of the heart of the task. See, the watchman on a wall was always on alert for any attempt of the enemy to attack or infiltrate the city. What you doing? What you doing? Are you on your watch? Ah, uh, because I found out that because if we up praying, it wouldn't have so many guns. Come on, yeah. The church would be in. Yeah. Ooh, Lord Jesus, help me. I'm trying to be good. Thank you, Father. And I'm not coming against the church, but then again, I am because we are the church. And God is calling us to a higher place. God is calling us to take a stand. It, and I just want to say it's not welfare's job. It ain't the government's yes, job to right, take care of people. Yes, right. It's our job, the church. Yes, right. So what you do? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank my you. Lord, what we do. My God, my God. But anyway, the watchman is always on alert for any attempts, as I said, to infiltrate our city, right? Too many, the walls of the church and out of our city today are open to attack because the lack of watchfulness. In 2 Corinthians 2.11, Paul wrote that we were not unaware of the schemes of the enemy. Unless praying watchmen are on duty, we too often find ourselves play, painfully unaware of the attempts of the enemy and to destruct them and to destroy them. Right. On the opposite end of the matter, I believe that the watchmen are also to keep their ears open to uh -huh. see and discern yeah, the yeah. moves of God. Yeah, yeah. All too often we miss out on what God is doing because we are not paying attention. Mm. Come on. Are you paying attention? Come on, come on. I'm not talking about look at me, paying attention to me, but are you paying attention to the Spirit of God? All right. What is God saying to you in your prayer time? Uh -huh. Oh, but did you have prayer time? Come on. Ooh. All right. All right. All right. All right. I don't know. Mm -hmm. The more I know, I the more. And I can't do nothing without Him. Amen. I can't make a move without prayer. I had to pray, God, is this your will for me to be where I'm at right now? I had to pray, God, what am I going to put on? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, touch that, mother, touch that. Because somehow we can get caught up in our flesh. Uh -huh. We can just put some things on. I don't want y'all to see me. I need y'all to see God. Yes, yes, yes. So is it all right if I take my shoes off? Take them off, mother. <laughs> I wish I'd be a little cheap. Yes, that's all right. That's all right. Fix me yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, it's always good to have fun, right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. See, the watchers should always be asking the Lord, what are you doing in our church or in the city today? There is something you are calling your people to do in the corporate review you are doing, oh God. How much more effective would it be instead of staring our own or starting our own projects for God and we find ourselves moving alongside of God? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What would the results of a watchman's prayer, according to Isaiah, would be the firm establishment of the kingdom of God? See, the prophet speaks of establishment of Jerusalem, the dwelling place of God among his people, and both the old and the new come. Jerusalem represents God among us. Jesus' was message was a coming kingdom, present, presented in him. Emmanuel, God with us. All right. Another result of a powerful prayer movement is that the glory of God will be seen among the nations. Right. Yeah, yeah. And as we watch and pray, we'll find ourselves lining up with the prophet Habakkuk, crying out to the glory of God to cover the earth right. as the waters cover the sea. My 
Pray, O Lord, it's time to ascend to the walls. Your city began to fulfill your calling. Oh my God. As a watchman of God. Now that I got now I got something I got to say. Say it. Who Lord you down? In other words, what enemy got you to sleep? Oh my God. You heard it said that the enemy doesn't fight fair. Well, that's a spiritual warfare underestimate or statement, I should say. Oh my God, if I ever heard one. The devil is a dirty fighter. And just as fellow as he is dirty, he never sleeps or slumbers. But he works to put us to sleep. Uh huh. Oh, you talking good, mother. Through apathy. Uh -huh. Through complacency. Uh -huh. And through weariness. Uh -huh. A wave. And it means Satan has been working since the second great awakening to put the church back into a deep sleep. Alright. Wow. That's us. He has some stops and some starts. Remember the Hazusa Street Revival? Yeah. The back in the uh, 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 birthplace of the modern day Pentecostal movement revival the saints of the beginning of the 20th century. Mm. But they slumber and spirit creep back in there. Alright. Mm. See, although the Pentecost and the charismatics are the fastest going segment of the church in the 21st century, mother. the enemy effectually mm -hmm. lured much of the church to sleep yeah. a long time ago. Yeah. See, even in the Pentecost and charismatics, we are sleeping when prayer was taken out of the schools. We were sleeping when abortion was legalized. So was oh my wow. God. Church is walking up and fighting the culture war, but the majority is still sleeping All right. and listening to the enemy's lullaby. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Jesus. Now you lay me down to sleep. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. See, we are the modern day saints. Yeah. Oh, Lord Jesus. See, the modern-day Samson's are seduced and was lured to sleep by the devilish Delilah. How many right, right, Delilahs right, right, do you right, have right. in your life? Oh Jesus. Do you know what a Delilah is? Is anything that's stopping you from doing what God has called you to do? Oh anything that's keeping you from pressing in and doing with what the Lord has yes. for you to do? Uh, you get caught up. You get, you're losing your focus. Mm -hmm. I've been there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I lost my focus. Yes. I've been there. My God. You know, you get lonely. Uh, you get yeah, yeah. Tell the truth, mother. Tell the truth. <laughs> Hello, Wall. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes. Look at, oh my God, the light is losing our power to combat the enemy's onslaught. Of course, we haven't really lost our power, but by compromising with the spirit of this world, yeah. much of the church has affected and willfully taken off their armor, and they laid it down. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. They laid down their weapons because it makes it more comfortable <laughs> to sleep through the noise of sin oh that is bucking us. Come on. Men in the church have taken off the belt of truth and embraced the lie that it's okay to practice homosexuality oh or to neglect prayer or to lie around with people to whom you're not married. Uh -huh. Many in the church have went down a sword of the spirit uh, out which the word of God to pick up pornography. Jesus. Many others have traded church service for a cult entertainment. Oh like Harry Potter. Or dance to the demonic beats of the modern day music. <laughs> Many of the church have taken off the breastplate of righteousness, compromising that they are a Christ to avoid the conflict in the workplace. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. It ain't nobody in here. <laughs> but if you know somebody, I'm talking to the people down the street. People on the other job. Can't be us. Oh, Jesus. Or even in the church, or even in the pulpit, lay members laugh at dirty jokes to fit in, or, or turn church morning worship into a worldly event, or to preach a nice, kind message to keep the times up. Tell the truth, mother. <laughs> Many have traded their shoes. Oh, my God, some Michael Kors shoes. Oh, my Lord, 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 Lord,
I choose a piece for a pair of Michael Kors shoes. I then spent our money, my God, for nine West. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And not bring our money to the house of God. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Most of them, I'm going to give you some jewelry. Okay? Jesus. So y'all buy the jewelry. I want you to pay. I want you to pay tonight. I want you to give her money. But make sure you bring your ties. That's right. That's right. <laughs> You're teaching mother. Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Um, and see, we still did that, some of us, and we still wearing our helmets, right, of salvation, right? But then sometimes we wish that we could hide that hat because it don't want to seem to be uncool in this contemporary society that shuns Christ. And see, much of the church is playing the harlot. Wow. Forsaking wow. the bridegroom for sin. Mm -hmm. uh, harlotry uh, was unlimited. Uh, Samson's downfall. Yes. yes. It was his downfall. Mm -hmm. It was ultimately his downfall. The Bible says, I didn't see it, the Bible says Samson went to Gaza and saw a harlot, and there he had sex. Samson was literally sleeping with the enemy as he followed the passion of his flesh rather than the God he served. Mm -hmm. He fell to his weakness. Mm -hmm. What is your weakness today? Mm -hmm. What is your weakness? Oh, what is your fault? Don't just just look at Samson and want to get mad at him. Come on. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. You know, we all want to look at him how he get caught up with Delilah. Y'all got some Delilah. Ah, yes, yes. Y'all want to talk about him, how he fell. Amen. Y'all say, Amen. He might be hanging in the middle of fell last night. I don't know. But it's okay, because God is a forgiving God. Oh, yeah. Then he met Delilah with whom he fell in love. But her motives towards him was not pure. See, the Philistine, the enemy of Israel, offered her 1,100 pieces of silver that she could persuade him to share the source of his great strength so he could, so they could overpower him, bind him, afflict him. She asked him time and time again, and he lied to her time and time again. Ah, fool around with the enemy's plans to capture him until she wore him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he told her the truth. He fell to her weakness. Come on, somebody. Oh, my God. This is a key strategy of the enemy. Yeah. Daniel 725 revealed that the enemy huh, wears the saints down. Yes. But you know what it is. 
Oh my God. Kiss this between us. Uh huh. Keep on going. But God is telling you to check yourself. Check it. Check it. Check it. God's calling you to check out what it is. That thing that's lowering you. You know, you know, Sunday. I rather. And see, I got so comfortable at times. Like I can stream live church. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh yeah. I ain't got a. I ain't got to go to church. I get comfortable just laying in the bed. Just <laughs> fellowship. Hey, praise him. Don't get no good. Huh? What about your time? Oh, yo, they got it now that you can just text him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's right. No but they got to say, don't forsake the sin. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. And see, that was church stuff, right? We get comfortable, so we can't just look at Samson and be like, "Oh, you did this, did it?" You see, the enemy is slick as yeah. yes. Yes, yes, yes. You're like, "Okay, I'm still." And I hear all the time, "Oh, I'm still. I just don't feel. I haven't found that church yet." Liars! I need to go. I'm not ready to go here. Yeah. You ain't ready to submit yet. Like you want a shot mic. But <laughs> <laughs> your shot mic, shot mic close, you'll go to the next store. Wow. <laughs> you want to get comfortable. And that's how yes. I Oh, I can teach myself. I'm here. I can teach myself the word. I can study for myself. But if that's the case, God wouldn't have pastors and preachers and teachers and pray for all together. Because we need each other. Your support while I'm together behind the pulpit to yes, see you out there. Yes, yes, yes. I need you, you need me. Yes, yes, Let's do this thing together. Yes. Mm, my, 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 my. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, Lord. Mm, you're talking to Lord. Oh, my God. Mm, mm, mm. Like I said, Daniel said, reveal the enemy's weary and the saints out, right? You'll wear us out, right? But know that those who wait on the Lord yes. will not go weary. Yes. Samson didn't wait on the Lord. He allowed the devil's word to press him so that his soul was vexed to death. And that's what so many of us do time and time again. We allow the enemy persistent words to vex our hearts and we fail to fight back. But that's a little compromise. She was able to lure him to sleep on her knees. He was sleeping so deep that a man came in and shaved the hair, a locks of his hair. The Bible says in the beginning to torment him and he lost his strength. When the Philistines broke in, they thought they could break the free as best the times before. But guess what? He was deceived. And some of y'all today, y'all think y'all can break through. Y'all think y'all can get away. But God called me to tell you, you need to come up higher. You need to get them the lives off your life. I don't know what it is, but God is calling to get them the lives off your life. Yes. 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 Jesus. The enemy is giving you a place to make your head. My Lord. That thing yeah. is giving you a place to lay your head. Mm -hmm. That thing is giving you a place to lay your head. It kind of said, You're sleeping with the enemy. You're sleeping with the enemy. Wow. You're sleeping with the enemy. Jesus. You're sleeping with the enemy. Wow. I said, You're sleeping. The Louis Vuitton pocketbook. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Call my name. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, I love Tracy Lynn. I love Tracy Lynn. Yeah. 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 Wait upon the Lord. 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 
breath out. Uh -huh. God is calling us to focus. Mm. God is calling us to look yeah. and see what yeah. yeah. He's yeah. calling us to see what we need to be sensitive. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't even about you. Mm -mm. It ain't about you. Your life ain't even about you. Come on, come on. It's somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. So be careful what you eat. I used to say, whatever people eat don't make me fat. Oh my God, sometimes you gotta be careful. Listen, listen, listen. God is calling you. He's calling you. He's bidding you. God is calling you. God is messing with your heart. If he's telling you, if you're checking yourself and you say, God, I'm in the wrong place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let me work, let me work. So I'm saying, God, since you've given us right now in the name of Jesus. God, that you repent right now in the name of Jesus. To get the repentance, I'm the last year. Oh, get the repentance, I'm. And even when he left, he took more people out with him. Oh, my God. Mm. Was he got it there? Yes, Lord. So mm. God has called us to bring the repentance. Mm -hmm. So we can be those watching on the wall. Yes. So we can be able to identify. I'm asking God to sharpen each one of our discernment. Yes. I'm asking God to put fine to our hearing. Yeah, yeah. To take them. Oh, oh my God. 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 We want to have God's perfection. Yeah. We need to see what God sees. Yeah. Oh, my God. We can't listen to everything. Mm. Right. We can't listen to everything. Ah, oh, people watching TV and power. And all these people oh. are going to tell them. Definitely. Oh. Definitely. Y'all like it. I know y'all think y'all should. Sometimes you get in a place and you don't understand why things are going on. You ever read the news and then you go and you get depressed? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Watching that and you look at and read the paper and all that stuff is going on. Spirit. Mm. Listen, God, be careful what you're letting in spirit. Yeah. What's that feeling? Oh. Mm -hmm. 